Daily news, breaking news, everyday news on Prince Amila Entertainment TV. Subscribe to the channel or follow us on all our social media platforms on Instagram, Prince Mila Entertainment, Facebook, or Prince Amila Entertainment TV. We are also available on Twitter at P Mila ENT. Welcome to another edition of our daily news, breaking news, everyday news. Today is the 23rd of January 2022. Let us guys, our local government minister, July Moyo, has been implicated in a massive land scandal in Mashingo after it made that he is piling pressure on the Asen City local authority to give a vast tracts of land to an Indian investor in a market deal. The company known as CMB retrenched some of its workers in 2019 due to financial challenges, yet it is earning a multi-million dollar project which requires a huge tract of land. Currently, the company is almost 50 hectares, of, of which it has only managed to utilize just 15 hectares. Even so, it is now demanding 200 hectares from the local authority. Sources at the Mashingo town hall said some councillors and management staff are watching for the deal, trying to please July Moyo despite warnings the deal could spook other investors and residents. We have people who are supporting such kind of a deal just to please the minister, forgetting that the same company still has a lot of land which it hasn't utilized. The situation is tricky because representation in council was in favor of ZANPF and management which also plays a key role and are appointed by the minister, so said. Sources also suspect the company could be inducing government officials to push for the deal. With growing pressure from top government officials, the deal is said to be close to certain and soon the company will have their request approved. Other sources also say the company has rejected a 50 hectare lease offer from council, maintaining the 200 hectare request which they demanded should come with title deeds to the land. Recently, some council officials were invited by the company where they were notified of how the company would want to utilize the land. The proposal comes at a time where the city is a ballooning house waiting list and a very mediocre industry which they hope to revive by selling industrial stands that fall within the land identified by the steel making company. Mashingo Mayor Colin Maboke confirmed that a request has been put forward by the company but nothing has been cemented in relation to the proposal. We are yet to make a resolution pertaining to that issue. The company has requested that council investigate a possible extension of their workspace, but as for now, we haven't reached any decision. Council does not make rushed decisions and we do what is best for the city, Maboke said. Contacted for comment, Julemo denied any involvement in the deal, but said he would support business with the potential to grow. I'm not privy to that issue and have never interfered in issues of land allocation in Mashingo or anywhere else. What I'm privy to is to promoting of business. Allocation of land is done by the local authority, Moyo said. Simbi Steelmakers a group of companies, logistics officer, Tabonga Guerena, declined to comment on the matter referring all questions to the general manager. I'm not the right person to answer on that issue, but you can come to the plant and see the general manager, Gurena said. When asked to avail the manager's number, he said you, cannot, you can come and book an appointment to see him. Many communities across the country have been moved in nasty fights with foreign investors over land grabs. Foreign investors usually come with a lucrative multi-million dollar deals which the government find hard to reject. And so guys, I was told a year before that some of these guys are not got any backing from some government officials because one got to go a certain percentage and uh, so these guys uh they already have 50 hectares of land uh, and they are only using 12 hectares of it which means we're 30 something 40 something yeah 30 something hectares and that 200 hectares on top of that guys 200 Hectares are good, and the Rudas are currently my title deeds, which means which once uh, the city of Mashungo gave these guys uh, 200 hectares of land in a Gayato Yao and the uh, Pagaipo. But it's all in the comment section. Uh, this is a daily news, breaking news, everyday news. I mean, we need investors, but Mawiro Arukita Achoka, as soon as we see the Panas Rukitiga, and soon Tingitisina and Jumbe Toka Kira Zimba, because I know what to write Jumbo Zese. Ashisa ma dues are 
and some of these guys they are just taking the land not because they want to build or want to do something there but just to have the land and i don't know what i mean that boys so we keep you guys in the loop regarding to this of course uh the minister has to deny this puppy powers of Vumagote i'm involved in this whole situation and uh, some of these cases in the hands of buddha man after four to five years later i couldn't want the minister july moyo our song because of a deal uh, and the Shingori gorilla 2022 and yeah uh, so we keep you guys in the loop here on daily news breaking news everyday news on prince miller entertainment tv remember guys to like share comment and follow us on all our social media platforms instagram facebook and also on our facebook group which is a prince miller entertainment tv this is a daily news everyday news breaking news on prince miller entertainment tv remember guys to like share comment bless up